Destiny. What is your destiny, Mark? Do I know my destiny? I don't know. Do you know your? Does Apparently it look like I know my destiny, dude? Apparently, you could know your destiny, Mark. Apparently, you fucking could. Maybe. Like lucid dreaming. Like somebody did a speech on lucid dreaming. You never have ten fingers in a dream. What about ten toes? I don't know. What about ten thumbs? You might. What if you had ten thumbs? What would you do with ten opposable thumbs? All your fingers would be like this. Just all around, you would, you would, do, you would just, you would fucking. I don't know what you would do. Like you'd have like a bunch of knob, like cut all your fingers off to so the size of your thumb from from your the hand middle would have knuckle to, up. But your hand would have to shrink down and then make to like all this. those nubs look like thumbs. That'd be so weird. You'd look, God, that'd be freaky. I wouldn't want to. You would be like, how would you play video games with all opposable? Th- you'd be a monster at video. I bet. Games. I bet you'd, you'd be probably like, be great. Yeah, we could probably climb like. Ooh, really well. Ooh, too. ooh, that's good. I don't know. What would you climb if you had ten opposable thumbs a and your toes were all thumbs? Oh, um, you had te- you had twenty opposable thumbs. I would climb one of those crazy fucking trees that like Tarzan slides down on his feet. Like one of the really big ones. Like one of those ones. Yes. Like those it ones have we don't to have be anymore. If you're sliding down it on your feet, right? Well, I thought. It- How did he not get splinters? He did. Well, fuck, man. His feet must have been calloused they up were. to shit. They were. His feet were so calloused that the, when shit, Because those splinters had to go deep. They went deep. He's moving fast. Did he wax up his feet? No. No. His feet had to be like What if the tree smooth, was waxed? But yet he had, he had been. Fuck. He brought another aspect into the jungle. He could fucking sand all those trees down and make them waxed already. That's what he did with his feet, though. He's been waxing them for like 10 Like, imagine years. the first time he did it, how bad that hurt. How smooth and then, are those like, trees right now? He was now. basically peeling the trees. Like, it was just peeling up as he was sliding down. I just want to rub my penis on it. Wow. That's how smooth it is. Whoa. Yeah. Like, just find one of those smooth trees and just, like, straight down. That's crazy. Why didn't Tarzan have a beard? Why did... T- yeah. He didn't, didn't cut he? his hair. He didn't do anything. No, he did have a beard. Didn't she shave him when she first met him? Did, wasn't he, didn't he look like an ape? Wasn't he hairy all over? Not in the cartoon, I don't think. Or maybe I'm thinking of the Yeti. I don't I don't remember Tar ever seeing Tarzan with a beard. I could be wrong. I've never seen Tarzan with a beard either. She just cut his hair. Because she brought him to the mainland. Yeah. Or was that the Leonardo DiCaprio movie from the 1945 uh, smash hit? Leonardo DiCaprio movie? Yeah. Where he had de- where, where he was Tarzan. What Maybe the I'm thinking fuck of King you, Kong. You're thinking of George of the Jungle, probably, with Brendan Fraser. With Brandon Fraser. Fraser, yes. That was I saw but that. But he didn't have a theaters. beard either, did he? No, no, no. I don't think he ever had a beard in that movie. How do you live in the jungle for thirty odd years and not have a beard? Actually, can I I don't remember ever seeing Brendan Fraser with a beard in a movie. Maybe in Sino Man. Did he have a beard when he was like before they before that, yeah, him he a had a makeover or whatever. Made him look ninety. <clears throat> yeah, well, I haven't but, seen that movie in a long time. I like that movie. Yeah, but Brandon Fraser, maybe he can't grow a beard because he doesn't even have stubble. Like, how do you, when I shave my beard, I always have some kind of form that it looks like I had a beard at one point in time. How do these motherfuckers shave their beard and not have a beard there? Well, I know, I know when I do shave my beard clean, which I don't think I've clean shaven with like a razor. Yeah, like a like a razor like razor years. I don't okay. think I've owned an actual razor in like years. So like I'll, I'll take like clippers <laughs> and like buzz it down to like, like sandpaper. You yeah. know what I mean? But no, I've just always wanted like that smooth, <laughs> We're getting way smooth into skin. <laughs> Welcome to bunch of podheads number. Did we ever forget the number? I think we're on number twelve. Let's let's find out. Man, we are a bunch of podheads. I'm gonna guess we're on twelve or thirteen. But uh. Welcome to a bunch of potheads, whatever it is I'm about to find out. We haven't been here in a, so fucking long. It's been a minute. I've been and, doing school uh, and shit. It's it's mostly this guy. You guys see me yeah. quite often. You don't you do. see him very often. Yeah, I'm, but, a, I'm a piece of shit. Um, bunch of potheads. I'm looking up right now, people. I'm so sorry. He's actually, he just closed out his porn hub. He opened the wrong thing. No, I was going to look on YouTube, but oh, I figured it would be quicker on... Podcast, podcast, Podbeam, Apple Podcast, um, wherever any podcast is streamed at. Is that what you're saying? I guess, yeah. I'm gonna throw some housekeeping out there. I guess so. Um, it's taking me forever. Oh, this is episode number 
13. Okay, so I was la- close. Wow. Last episode was in January of this year, January 12th. When did I start school this semester? We talked. Probably around there. Netflix's Bird Box and Bandersnatch. Bandersnatch was terrible. I liked Bandersnatch. It wasn't great. It was ba- Bandersnatch was the live action one, right? What do you mean live action? Like Bandersnatch? Well, not the live action, but Bandersnatch was the interactive one, right? Yeah. That was the one where you actually like pick the endings. Well, see, I was interactive. So, yeah, they're all. Live I watched. Action, though. What is what it? You, they're all live action. None of them. No, are no, animated. I meant interactive, to where it was like a video game, to where you were like. Yeah, you, it was like you, a choose your own. Adventure yeah, choose book. your own adventure book. The reason I didn't like that movie is because I picked everything. Like, it allowed you to do everything no, without it, ending it. It wasn't as detailed. And like, I would have wanted it to end in the credits roll, not give me the options of the credits rolling and continue to do a different option, because that confused the hell out of me. No, it wasn't as cool as it could have been, but I liked I liked <gasps> what it meant. Like, who knows? I think it was they cool, could probably yeah. make a way cooler one now. Well, but they're I saying they're going to do it. Mirror, oh, I love Black Mirror. Every episode is fuck. Well, not every episode, but like... Majority of the episodes are fucking fantastic. Majority. Some of them, I like them all in one way or another. Now, what do you think about the new season? I like the new season. I okay. <laughs> That's I like, what I want to hear. I like the first episode. Didn't like the second episode. Okay. Like the third episode, but I it, don't think I seen didn't the feel like Black Mirror. I don't think I seen the uh, Facebook post episode. The Facebook post. Episode? The one where um, he kills his wife or whatever because of like a post. Online, he's like a businessman. No, he accidentally. What it was is he kidnaps this dude that works at this company, okay. and this company is like um. There's a dude. In a, a social that, media company. Kidna- he kidnapped the social media company. He's like an Uber driver that kidnapped a guy that works for this company because he wants to talk to the guy who. The owns Uber the- driver works for this company. No, the guy he kidnapped. Or oh, the guy he kidnapped company. works for the Uber. The company. Uber driver kidnaps a guy that works for this social media company. <laughs> okay, this okay. Facebook like company. Okay, I got you now. And then he, um, you don't know why he kidnapped him or anything. You know he kidnapped him for a specific reason because he works for this company. Because okay, in the beginning of the episode, he keeps asking, "Do you work for him or whatever?" He's like always outside of this thing. And uh, do you work for that company or whatever? And they're like, no, no. And then finally he finds this black dude that does. So he kidnaps him, essentially, and then says he's going to kill him if he doesn't talk to the fucking guy, whatever his name is, that owns the company. The the Mark Zuckerberg of this company. Okay. Okay. And this whole time, you don't know who this guy is. You just keep saying his name. Keep saying do, you want, do you want me to spoil it? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I, don't, I definitely haven't watched this episode. Um. And it turns out it's it's Topher Grace, the guy that plays Eric Foreman on okay, that yeah. show. And he's not Venom. bad. He's not bad as the guy. He's kind of funny. Yeah. And um, he's he's probably he's definitely the comedic relief of the episode because it's a very stressful episode. And I like the episode until you find out why the guy is doing all this, why he's kidnapping this dude, and why he wants to talk to him. Okay. Well, finally he gets through to the guy and he tells him why he's doing this, and it turns out. The guy was like on a road trip or driving with his wife, and uh, he got a notification for this Facebook like app or this social media app. Yeah. And he picked up his phone and started looking at the notification, and it caused him to get into a car wreck that killed his wife and maybe his unborn child or something in her stomach. Okay. Obviously. Yeah. What else would his unborn well, child right. be? Right. Um, bunch of potheads, people. The Nord. Cut it out. Sorry, people. I have to lock her up or she'll be right here. And the entire... For the audio listeners, walking all over the table, rubbing on everything. So I have to lock her in the bedroom. But anyway, basically, his wife died because he was distracted by his phone. And he thinks it's a terrible thing that people are so distracted by it. And he basically blames the company and wanted him to know that it's terrible. It's terrible that people are so consumed by their phones and shit, basically. And I'm like, this is dumb. That yeah. was all that guy's fault. Yeah, that is dumb. It has nothing to do with this company or Topher Grace's <laughs> character or... or I mean, I get the message behind it. But, yeah. dude, that's all your fault. You're the one who, who should change. You know what I mean? Like, yeah... People are too consumed by their phone and social they are. media and all that stuff. And and they the they touched on that with the other social media episodes from the other one. But that's up to you to to do shit 
to be responsible with it. You know yeah. what I mean? It's 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 a tool. It's a resource. It's in a, in a lot of ways, it's a it's a gift. It is. I mean, it it but, connects you with everybody. There's there's definitely a, like downs of it. But you you have to be responsible with it, and you have to, you have to keep it in perspective. Yeah. So I get the message, but like, like that it guy does was, it does seem like a really dumb episode. The Ashley one was pretty dumb too. Like it was. You good. should still watch it because maybe you'll get something out maybe. of it. Maybe. I, I I thought the video game one kind of disappointed me because of how quick it went to we're just gonna do it now. We're just yeah. gonna fuck. Like that made no sense to me. Like if me and you were fighting on a video game and we've been fighting on video games for like fifteen years, I have never once been like, Man, Mark, I'm I really want to take this character and fuck you right now. No, I mean I guess I can understand like if you're in that world and you're doing that and you're looking at this hot ass Asian bitch yeah. and it sounds like a hot ass Asian Asian bitch look like But it doesn't. You might get they lost. did that for you the might show. Get lost it sounds it. like you're doing it would sound like me talking to you. But in the show it, In the show it did it for just us the I'm assuming it did it for us the audience because they're in each other's earpiece. Like it would be like, Hey Mark, what's up, bro? You, oh no, dude. Oh know. dude. I don't think that's because that would be completely immerse immersion breaking. Okay. Okay, so any real so, game designer okay, would not okay, design it okay, like Okay, we're that. past that. He sounds like a woman. But he still fucks like a guy. Oh, oh, he sounds like a woman now. Ah, uh, ah, uh, but he's fucking like a dude. Maybe like, I don't know. Like it just doesn't just, make any sense. Right. Like that does not the first thing I go to. I get what you're saying, but I'm not basing it on on that. I'm basing it on how it was portrayed in. This I like episode. the episode. Don't get me wrong. I, I love I'll, the I'm episode. I'm not saying that I'd want to fuck my my no, dude friend. In it's a video just game. I don't understand. I'm just saying I get how you can. For a line, for a minute there, the lines could be blurry, and you could get yeah. Fucking but I don't understand away. why they went there that fast. Like there was no like I was yeah. expecting a yeah. build up to yeah. it, like the whole episode to build into that, and then we're banging, and then we're trying to figure out if we're gay, and then we set up a day a month to where. But his girl was out there fucking real people in yeah. real life. Like yeah. we're just doing it digitally. That's different. No, no, that was another weird thing. Like that's those are two completely different. Yeah. Things. Like to me, what those what those two dudes did. Really wasn't all that wrong. They didn't do anything. They didn't really do. They were two friends, like, like fucking okay. exploiting the game. I guess we would have to get into more detail. We would have to know how this all plays out. Like, are they splooging in their pants? You know what I mean when they're playing True. this game? Because they, they, they don't show it on Black Mirror like, because it's is, it's graphic. Because they describe it as like you. It mimics every normal. It, it mimics feelings. So, yeah. like, if you're getting punched in the face, you, it feels like you're actually... Yeah, and for him, it was because his leg's all fucked up and he can't have sex like a normal man. And the other guy was getting off because it was a female orgasm. Yeah. But what got me is why did they never switch? Even That's after he point. was maybe like... Maybe they do. Maybe they do. Maybe, but it never... It was always the Asian guy and the black and the chick as the, the two people. And yeah. he was like... I mean, like, fuck it. He was like... After, after he was like, how does it feel? And he was like, it feels like nothing yeah, you ever had. Yeah, would be like, well, I want to try. Let me try it, dude. Yeah. Like, because I mean, really think about it. Think about it. you're not having gay sex. No, it's you're not. Just, it's it's a man and a, you're having heterosexual sex. Yeah, because I'm not looking at you when I'm doing. I'm looking at the game character. I'm in. We're in the game now. Yeah. Stop relating you and me too. <laughs> just keep it, keep okay. It like yeah, you're getting weird when you relate. Like I'm not, like when you start putting me in there and you're talking about fucking me. Like come on, man. Okay. It gets very strange. Okay. So the two, the, the Captain um, Falcon, and I don't know who the other guy, what he played. Are the two people that are, are are fucking each other? I just don't understand like why it jumped into that instant. Like they fought each other for like ten no, seconds. If and, because the writing, way the episode was set up in the preview, it showed yeah. them fighting in like real that. life. Okay, but it showed them fighting out like outside the video game. So I was going into this assuming that the video game was coming to life. Like it wasn't. And then when it got in, I was what like, "Oh, this is even." Well, there was a trailer, and it showed the Chinese chick in his living room. Not in the video game. It showed her in his living room. So I'm thinking, like, there's some kind of virtual reality thing. And then it gets in the game, and they're actually fighting each other. So I'm even more excited oh, about this episode. I don't ever remember seeing, seeing You didn't see the, the Facebook trailer that they posted? Because Black Mirror posted, like, three and they, trailers And they showed the episodes. Chinese lady in the and, living room where the, they were playing them, the game? Well, they weren't playing the game. They just showed, like, it was a quick shot, and it clicked to the Chinese girl in, a, like, a house, not in a game. Like, she wasn't in the game setting. She was in their, like, living room setting. Well, at that... 
in in the episode at one point they're not fighting and they're just kind of hanging out. That's yeah, another but weird that, thing. that wasn't the scene. Like it was his living room because you could tell it was like his house. Okay, because so it, like the way it, they portrayed it, it was like completely. They different. were like outside by a fire, but they were sitting on like what looked like a couch and like an outside patio, but like a really fucking nice outside patio. Because where they fight and stuff, they're like it's like cityscapes and shit. So yeah. I think they can like hang out in the city. And there's probably like a see how cool would that be like like a fucking barrel like a burning barrel in the corner somewhere and they're probably just chilling by. It. But the weird thing to me, another weird thing is they like cuddle and shit afterwards. Yeah, like, see that shit's now weird. That shit's gay. That's and, a little gay. And like, and that's when he was like, "Let's do it. Let's fucking kiss." But then again, I mean, if there's a hot ass Asian bitch right there, I'm gonna kind of want to like cuddle and touch on her. You know, like that's the thing. Like, if you, just, I guess, if you're getting the sensation of it all, yes, you want the full package. Like, you want the all, full experience. Like, for example, like if. For instance, this was like an online gameplay, and you didn't know that that was a dude. Yeah. Like, it would be the same if, if you kind of just block out that it's, you could kind of forget that that's a dude. And, like, if you never knew in the first place, like, I got it's so, I got all to... circumstantial. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. I weird. missed this scene when he said it, but Mike said it at work. He was like, what got me was when two grown-ass black dudes are sitting there, and one bends over, and he's like, you know you want that wet tight Chinese pussy. <laughs> I know that was that was so weird. Bitch, it is so weird, dude. Like, but like that's, they that's took that's it realistic. to the gay element, though. Like, that's real. Like, I'm sure there is a dude out there that sees <laughs> absolutely nothing wrong with it. Like, not even like I don't really like. There's like I had nothing wrong with the episode being gay. Like, that's fine. Each other in video games. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. You know yes. I mean? No judgments here. It's just the episode. Like but you I'm said, saying, it wasn't like Black Mirror. Like this season didn't feel like a Black Mirror season. Like I thought the first episode did. The first episode with the... I thought that the one we're talking about did. Yeah, yeah. The the, the, uh, the Striking upload. Vipers or whatever I think is what it was called. Okay. But uh, it was I like think Virtual that did. Fighter I almost. thought episode two started to, like, as I'm... Like, the first half of it, I was like, okay, this seems... This looks like it's going somewhere, but then yeah. it just got stupid. I okay. thought it was really stupid. Uh, and then the third episode with Miley Cyrus, I liked it. I liked it a lot, but it didn't seem like Black Mirror. It like, didn't. It didn't it, have that black mirror. Well, the vibe. whole f- feel to me this season was like, let's get some really big celebrities and throw them in there. And like, I feel like they got completely different writers. Like it almost like like you can tell like yeah, going from different. last season to this season, it doesn't have that like. It was like it doesn't have that terrifying. Yeah, like, and it ear, doesn't have that, that like, like bone super t- chilling realness. Like them hooking up once a month wasn't a twist to me. Like, yeah. like to where like other stuff happened to where like in the the bear, like last season with the bear robot episode they interlinked those together to where the raiders were going through the warehouse and they dropped down and there was a bunch of those robot bears and shit from a different episode like that shit was creepy as fuck yeah like the first season like was weird like with the dude banging the pig and shit and I guess yeah. going like but in I guess in Britain they only they stop their stuff after two or three seasons yeah Britain they they'll do like one se- yeah, season yeah that's why Black States. Mirror now is uh, because originally it was like a British show now it's completely American yeah but like where's Netflix even stationed at. I don't know where Netflix is. Like, like because Netflix does things like ba- like they don't even do things region based. Like <laughs> they they obviously have to do whatever is popular. But like their actors, like they're putting more and more foreign films on there. They're getting more and more like British style actors. Like I don't know if it's cheaper to film over there. And or a lot what? of a lot of their original like movies and stuff are seeming more like B movies and shit. They too. are. Yeah. Like they're they're not as well done. Yes. Like before, like pretty much anything that said Netflix original on it was like like a high budget like yeah like, ooh, you this would, is probably you'd good. be excited to watch it yeah you'd be like ooh that like that meant something yeah now it seems like they're just slapping it on anything yeah I think I watched a Netflix original the other day that was terrible but they uh and I think it's because they're losing everything everybody else is starting their own streaming service and shit Disney there's about to be no Disney stuff on there in the Dude, next, Disney, next like two years Disney has like Animal Planet too so like stuff like that they're taking they're taking a lot the from office everywhere. the office is leaving before long like Friends in, is going like to within HBO the next year Friends service. is as well which is weird that's yeah NBC. that's really weird um, but HBO is probably throwing money at everything right now because they're trying to compete with a market that's already saturated. And I guess Netflix's um, numbers have gone down quite a bit. Like I thought they, they went down like a, they lost like twenty one billion dollars uh, in profit they, or something. They lost recently. a shit ton, but people are saying that they're not. I guess Netflix isn't all that worried about it because it to them it's all it's all about timing. Like yeah, we're down this month, but 
look at everything we have coming out next month. So I guess like next <laughs> month, next the next quarter or whatever. Yeah. However the business works, I guess. They got a lineup of like a whole bunch of pretty slick shit coming out. I can't right. think of it right now, but the things some of the things people brought up I was like, okay, yeah, that's actually some stuff people now, are pretty imagine what Disney can on. do with the power they have. Okay, say say a movie comes out in the theater, right? Disney instantly says, Now that you have our streaming service, if you pay twenty bucks, you could sit at home and watch that movie. You would pay as much as if you went to the movie theater. Maybe the movie theater gets a little kickback. Yeah, Maybe the movie theater gets like five bucks every time you buy it off their streaming service. But I would sit yeah, there because the then I have access to that movie for 24 hours. They wouldn't give the movie theater shit. Why would they give the movie well, theater? Well, I'm just saying because then the movie theater, it would be called a monopoly and it would be like American law. I'm assuming they would have to, they couldn't just monopolize on it, the market that way. That wouldn't be a Because monopoly. if they could, they would just do it now. Ne- if that's then why a monopoly, hasn't no one done it already? If that's a monopoly, then Netflix is a monopoly. But I'm saying, why, haven't, why hasn't anybody done it already? Why hasn't anybody been like, well, if you do they it on are. our streaming service, service we'll pay all kinds of people are it's just disney hasn't yet netflix but I'm does saying, it dc's doing it now with their streaming service They're do they have it to where when the out. movie's out in the theater you could buy it on disney the actually streaming is, service is doing stuff straight too it's just they're not going to take the stuff that is going to be like but i'm like saying like breaking i'm saying if marvel endgame theaters. came out in theaters today i can go home and watch it on the disney streaming service for the same price yeah i'm saying they probably wouldn't do that for everyone like end game i'm saying that you wouldn't be able to do that that's right. what i'm saying i don't think you can i don't think because you would put the movie business you would put movie theaters out of business completely exactly exactly We're and that's why i don't on that okay then. that's what i was just making sure I, because i was confused there for a second i was thinking you were saying like they're already doing that to where they're like you can go home and watch every single movie right now no, no i'm saying it's not a monopoly because streaming services are already doing that like streaming services are already creating their own content and putting it there where you can only get it there. That's why. Yeah, I guess originals. That's would what exclusive be. is all about. Like you, if their shit was on everything, you would just get one thing. Like Netflix. But I was just saying specifically, you like have to movie have a reason movies. to want Netflix. I was just saying specifically movie theater movies, like Avengers Endgame. Like Avengers Endgame comes out today. Yeah. Avengers Endgame is today on the Disney streaming service for twenty dollars. You would have to pay for it, just like as if you bought a movie ticket. Yeah, no, that won't happen. There's only one thing I've ever heard of that you could do that, and you could buy some weird box. It, you can look it up. Yeah, it's online. like some five thousand dollars. I think no, Eric was talking about. It's it like something. fifty thousand. Okay, fifty. Maybe you were talking. And about And you it. can watch anything. You can watch things that are in the theater at home. See, that's crazy. And yeah, and it updates. Like, how is like, that even possible? It updates like every week or something like that, but it takes like a shitload of time, I guess. Like it takes a while for it. I don't know. Maybe it's different now, but I remember looking this up like a year or two ago because somebody talked about it on the pod- on now, podcast. Now, is it hard because every movie is filmed to be placed on a movie reel and not on a streaming service? Is I that why so. they wouldn't do that right now? I think so. Okay. Or maybe, maybe you're watching like a screener, which are, you know, a screener, like the. Usually they send like a Blu-ray or a DVD to like Conan O'Brien when Robert Downey Jr. is about to be on so he can watch the movie. And be like, I w-, usually when you're watching like Conan yeah. or Jay Leno or something or whoever it is now, they're like, I saw the movie last night. Fantastic. They okay. watched it at their house. That's you know? weird. On a, that's why like anybody that like get, gets like a bootleg one and it and it looks great. Yeah. Like it's, it's a great version of it. But it says like Regis and Kelly in the corner or Ellen, like a little watermark. That's because that's the cop. Somebody leaked that copy. Somebody that wow. works for Ellen put that on the internet. Or somebody, somehow it See, was I've stolen I've never seen those them. actually. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's crazy. That's so, cool. So yeah, See, you're I was seeing like, like the one that like Reg- Regis Philbin watched. Because they said movie theaters will be obsolete eventually. Like we will not go to a movie theater. And like... That would be perfect. Like, I would pay money to watch a movie at home as if I was going to... I would pay the freaking $20 for the movie. No. You wouldn't pay the $20 for it? I would only, to have, I would only pay to watch a movie at home if I then owned the movie. Okay. If I'm going to pay to watch the movie, I'm going to own it. But I'm it saying you're I'm paying done. it like as if you if were going I, to the I'm movie If I'm going to pay to watch a movie and only watch the movie, I'm going to watch it in the theater with good sound, a huge ass fucking screen, the way it was intended to be watched when they okay. filmed it. I am going to, if I'm going to pay to watch a movie, that's what I'm going to do. Unless okay. I'm going to buy the movie. Okay. I dig that. And see, some people would like the comfort of their own home with their own TV, with their own speakers, and everything like that. Well, no, and I do prefer that. Yeah, way. but that's why but I, I usually get, like, wait if you're to spending, see movies. If you're spending until that much out. money, then you would wait till it came out on the DVD. Yeah, like if you're gonna if you're gonna spend the money that spend you would see it on the theaters, another, you would wait 
ten dollars and I, I have it. Never have to pay for it again. But I guess I guess but there's in that movies sense, I cannot wait. To I guess see. in that sense, the incentive would be the movie's now seven dollars at home, and the movie's fifteen dollars to go see it in the theater. But that's okay. See, this is when movie theaters start adapting, like streaming services are. Movie theaters start doing things like like. Movie Pass is dying now, but Movie Pass. Well, they just said there's like an unlimited one where you can. It's not Movie Pass, but there you can no, now no, buy a lifetime tickets. AMC buy. Theaters now does their own thing, and that that was a big that took a big chunk of Movie Pass's business too. Now okay. that but Movie Pass was just doomed to begin with because that yeah, was, it was just weird. way too good of a deal. Yeah, it was a weird like. And then they started changing, and then people were like, "Okay, wasn't it, it like, was too good to be." Wasn't true. Wasn't it like twelve or thirteen dollars a month? And then AMC started giving them like an actual like viable like thing that actually made sense. Okay. And so what what I'm saying is is movie theaters need to start adapting like movie. Pro, like st- studios are, they're now creating their own streaming services or creating deals with other streaming services or or creating content purely for streaming services like What If, which you'll get into later, yeah. I'm sure. And uh, so movie theaters now need to learn how to do that. They need to up their game when it comes to what they can provide you, like f- maybe give you a little bit something new to eat. Keep that shit, you know, something cool. I don't know. We'll see. Give us dinner table experiences instead of theater experiences. We now have reclining seats. You know what I mean? Like, provide, I don't know. Like, give us go, alcohol. You go Make in there. Make it a whole new experience. Maybe you go in there. Because that's what you, you go s- to a theater for, dude, is for the experience. Yeah. It's like going to a restaurant. You're going so just, for the experience. Just make it even more of an experience. Theaters need to be cooler. You need well, to some, make us want to go to the They theater. had something like that at the Magic Johnson Theater in downtown Cleveland to where you go in, you could order like a chicken sandwich, and you would go into a reclining seat that was more like a lazy boy and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's or expensive like, as hell because like a chicken sandwich is like eight or nine dollars. Where essentially they give you like a bed that you and your couple I've seen or that. your family can lay in and yeah. just watch the movie together. And now that's cool. They got people coming and serving things to you. You know what I mean? Like make it, make it something you want to do. You know what I mean? Yep. It, make it a whole, a make whole it like experience a, like a, like instead a of just a little movie bit going. funner. I, well, they're actually they came out with since Movie Pass is dying. Obviously, they came out with another thing that they're saying is becoming an unlimited like movie type pass to where you buy it and then you could just go buy watch. It's like a like you said, like a service, but it's not a streaming service. It's like a little pass that you buy one time or a subscription of, and you just keep paying for it yeah. and you can go watch whatever movie you want. And then I mean, but there's gonna be people that aren't gonna enjoy things like the thing I'm describing anyway too. You know, what I mean? like yeah, it's gonna be hard to sit. Nobody wants to go watch a movie with like kids. No. They're running around and like nobody wants to watch a movie like there would have to be rules involved you know what i mean or well, there there would maybe maybe people who didn't want to be involved in that there would be theaters where it's just like yeah this is this is like a private booth viewing yeah theater. what if they did like, like a, a, what if they split because the size of the theater is huge they always have the same this movies on one side and the movies on the other side so what if they just doubled up those movies on one side and doubled up those movies on the other side and be like this is the kid friendly zone and this is the quiet zone. This is for the this is for the more adult. See, and that, like, then it would have to be so huge because a, a a loud zone and a quiet zone, if they're right fucking next to each other, it's I mean, the it's same not a zone. loud and a quiet zone. I'm just saying, like, you don't have to sit in with the kids. You're in a different you're in a different movie theater. Yeah, I you get, can't yeah. hear the guy next to you in that theater. I guess yeah, right. It's not like there's gonna be a bunch of kids in a rated R yeah. movie. You know what I mean? And I'm just saying, like, to separate because then you would get a more like it would almost be like here goes your first class you would, experience you and here goes your it, middle class experience. You would have to treat it almost like like a, a comedy club. Like you don't heckle, you don't talk while people yeah. are on stage. You would treat it like a play. Like you know what I mean? You would go to the bar during intermissions or something. Or well, imagine there is no intermission. Imagine you're just sitting in there and a stewardess is walking around giving because you paid for all this. Like, say the ticket was thirty bucks, but for thirty bucks every like hour, someone comes in and gives you refills your drink. Gives you, now, if you were eating popcorn or a sandwich, they give you get like a complimentary sandwich or something. But see, there, the there's movie. people like me that 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 would be distracting. I wouldn't want to see people getting up and walking over and talking to somebody, getting in my way all the time. You, I, the way I would see it is, you would need to get up and go as if you would. You would now go out to there and get it, but like maybe now it's more set up like 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 an amphitheater instead of a movie theater. What like, if you had like, like like you go up to the top, but inside the theater, like back away, the bar's right there. So like you could still turn around and still see the movie while you're waiting at the bar, but it's just like 
20 or 30 feet farther back from all the okay. seat. You know what I mean? What like if you ever been to the Agora? Kind of like the, the no. Agora. Okay, but what if you already had the nose? Say you sit down and your seat in the in the next to you, you know, your little armrest, has an unopened thing of nachos, maybe a hot dog warmer, and then on the back of every seat it has a cooler so you can open that up and it's a couple different drinks. So now nobody has to move. Dude, you've already you already got dude, your snacks and shit right there. You know what we're describing? What? We're describing a drive in movie theater. <laughs> we are. We are. That's exactly what Except that is. Except you can't take the sound of the movie with you. Yeah, because you can't of have it like yeah. So Essentially, what would be awesome is a drive-in movie theater inside where you have a private but theater-going experience yeah. at the same time. Because no one would have to get up. Booths. The only time... Dude, fucking theater booths where yeah. you're in booths, there's speakers behind you, maybe there's a, uh, a, a tap screen to adjust volumes inside the booths. That would shit. be sweet. But you're looking at the... Fu- oh, my God. See, I thought about, like, stadium booths. Like, Why are we saying this on a podcast? <laughs> we need to do this. Right? This needs to happen, dude. What We did this. It's the worst idea ever. We're just stoned right now. Yeah. And we think it's a great idea, but it ruins but, our But, like, lives. I've never been in, the in like, one of those, like, nice boxes at, like, uh, like, a baseball game or anything, but they got, like, all that shit set up for you. The hot dogs and nachos. Imagine if they had, like... 15 of those inside of a theater so you're si- you're sitting with like five people or six people in your little booth that you may not know them it may be your party yeah. but you have 15 of those in this room and they're all just like you're talking about the speakers the booth and all the foods there and like you guys you can sit there and munch and watch the movie and like maybe each of you have a speaker next to you or behind you and it's like maybe it's too loud for you so you turn this speaker down because this guy's speaker is fine yeah. you know what I'm saying or like and then maybe there's like a, for like depending on where you're sitting Maybe there's like a little screen here for you to watch the movie. Maybe you're not really paying attention to the. You don't want to look like this the whole time. Yeah. Because yeah. I hate sitting in the front. Like you're sitting in the front. Yeah, the yeah, front's yeah. the worst part. So if you had a little screen here where you could sit like this, and not everybody's going to use it, obviously. So okay. And you don't need any volume on that. The the little screen maybe is a little a little. It's too a little excessive. But like I'm saying the, for the whole front, reason you're there is to watch the big screen. Well, right? yeah, but I'm saying for the people who are in the front, so you're not like this. You could just look down. You're getting the same experience with the sound. Well, me, to me, there, what I would think is that would be where, where like, you have, like, adjustable seats to get it just right. Like, oh, okay. my neck doesn't hurt because now I'm just at the right angle where I can just kind of lay there. Well, you just kind of lay back. Okay. But, or, like, see, But, see, with that, is, you would have to have, it would be less and seating. And then there will be other theaters in, like, you know how it's just a big building with a bunch of different theaters inside yeah. of it? There will be other theaters where it's just normal. If you want to just have a normal movie-going experience, maybe those tickets are only seven bucks. True. You know what I mean? Like, you won't. More people will go to the theaters because it won't but be how would you so fit, expensive. How would different you fit options. that much in there? You would have to have the theater the size of a Walmart. What I'm saying is, is like a theater. That, theaters are the size of a Walmart. True. You'd have to have double that though. You would have to have like, like you know how many there's there's probably like twelve or fifteen. But I mean, it's all taken up by like the theaters the inside a Tinsel Town, and that's but they're all smaller. Take, they're than taking up majority by the screens, like and then the seating's probably like, what a hundred people each theater room. There'll be smaller showings. Mm-hmm. Okay, you won't have as many people in the Is it, show. Would it be like you're like XD, like it's a special room that you go into? Yeah, like it would be Obviously that this, one this, one section would have all that stuff. Yeah, it would have to. That be. would be really cool, and then you would pay a little bit more for the experience. Mm-hmm. So you would still have your regular theater, and then you would basically have the VIP section that you paid Let, a couple okay. extra bucks. Let's for. say Tinseltown. How many theaters do you think there are? There's at least at least ten. Yes, yeah. screens inside of Tinseltown. And that's, yeah, that's that's not yeah. including like XD. See, and, I've never seen XD, so I don't know exactly and, how Or that like works, IMAX yeah. or whatever. Just just assuming, okay. Three of them, four of them, normal theaters. Uh, you know, or okay, maybe like three of them, normal theaters. Three of them, the cool theaters, four yeah. of them, the cool theaters. And then like you got your IMAX and your fucking 3D. I, I see the only problem with this is running into the amount of space when people are like, for 10 bucks more, I'm going to go get in the cool seats. Yeah, there's going to be a lot more people. Wanting so there's going to be cool high, more higher demand. So there's going to be higher demand, and it's going to basically it's just more. That, that's basically the only downfall of it is what more I see. more theaters because that's that's creating jobs. Like exactly, like I would be like I always want my nachos refilled. I don't want to eat those soggy ass nachos from the last guy that was in there. I want you. To, I want somebody to come in here and clean it up, tidy it more up. More theaters, like, multi layers, multi layer, multi layers, multi levers cool. or levers levels. <laughs> see, multi levels would be cool. Like, 
to where like it would be but see I'm thinking like the boxes would just like you don't even really the booth would be the best idea because you would be able to fit like 15 I like, the bo- like, like 10 people in a booth like you're, comfortably you're recreating the drive-in movie experience yeah. inside but in like a booth sort and of the stuff. booth would be like it would have like how your couch is to where like the, the, the bottom part folds out like each one you would have a recliner for the booth yeah. and like the seat would go back a little bit it would be like but it would hold like 10 people in that booth well I wouldn't say 10 I'd be more like maybe you could have like a well you're saying wrap around so like it would a, be like it I'm would thinking be the like length. a five seater like so you would just have, but then you would have to have a bunch of booths in that one six, maybe room. a six seater U shape I'm just thinking about maximizing the amount of people with the limited amount of space you have with the amount of things that you want to put in there Dude, we they, I mean so we're actually we're not actually doing it we're just <laughs> conceiving it you yeah. know what I mean like we'd have to, there'd be a lot of thought involved. It here. would, there would be a lot of thought involved, but maybe it would be really, should, it's a really cool get idea. Off this. We've been talking about this for like thirty minutes. Okay, probably. it's a really cool idea. I mean, we could talk but about no, the no. what if. We could talk about the what if series on Disney. You brought that. I up. like it. Anybody, anybody who wants to chime in on that too, go ahead and throw it in comments or whatever. Send us an email. Right. Pop, pop. What is it? Drop it in our DMs. Drop it in the DMs in the BM. In the BM. Ooh. Ooh. Drop it in the BM. Is that bow? Isn't that bow movement? I thought so. Boom, make boom. Did uh, you make boom? Body, body, body masked, body masked. But yeah, you wanted to talk about the what yeah, if? the what if, um, the Disney streaming service. I'm. What I was, is it? What is it? Okay, it's the for people it, that don't know the, the the what if comic book. I actually created this when I was like 15, and it. I was in a comic book store, and I would always talk every week about what if Wolverine had the Venom symbiote, or what if. <laughs> this happened and every week a new comic would come out like what if this happened and um it came like the what if series has been around for a long freaking time the what if series like and the 2099 series are probably my two favorite series but disney's coming out since disney owns marvel now is coming out with the what ifs animated series which is kind of i was kind of disappointed about because i thought it was gonna yeah, be a live, I action it was gonna be movie. live action too but, but now i'm not as disappointed about it because sense. they said all the actors are coming in from the movies to voice act their characters and they just teased a screenshot of marvel zombies well think think about what a live action what if would be it probably wouldn't be as good as as an. It wouldn't be. It would if. be Avengers Endgame every single episode. It, think, well, it, it would not every single episode because it would be one movie, but it would be Avengers Endgame through the entire movie, and it would only focus on like one or two stories. It, I mean, it would try to be that. It would. It would need to be that in order to be good for it to be a what if story. Yeah, I don't think they would pull it off. I don't think they would invest as much money and effort into it as they would need to make it good as a live action show yeah it, w- it would just end up now, being like agents of shield action or something show. i was thinking just a live action movie just one single once oh. i seen what if i thought oh. every single one of those were movies loki's a Mo- show movies would have been cool what if's a show um and it's not even just because like the live action adaptation the mar- the i got over the animated part really fast like i'm really excited for it now because they're bringing in all the voice actors that um all the people that are voice acting are the people, their characters. Um, and then I said, like, the Marvel Zombies thing. And what's sweet about that is it just shows that every what-if story can be told. Like, what-if stories are, like, literally what if this... Like, there's a what-if story of what if they never got superpowers. Did you ever hear that one? Like, what if everything that happened to all the Marvel superheroes just, like, got fucked up? Like, there's this guy going around so and So, superpowers just... Superpowers just don't just didn't exist. happen. Like it just didn't happen. So you're basically just seeing what these characters would be like if they were normal. Yeah, if that, they died. That's actually if they died. really like when they cool. when some of the shit happened if they died. Like when Bruce Banner got zapped by the gamma rays, he got fucking melted uh, and cancer and oh, shit. Oh. And um, the Fantastic Four turned into the Fantastic Four for like a split second. Johnny Blaze fucking incinerated the ex- ashes. Just exploded into atoms. And um. Mr. Fantastic stretched out to this like weird gum thing and froze to death inside of space. When I stretch out the weird gum. Oh, dude, I hate that too. But yeah, those are all. That was like a really cool what if story, and it was told by this like narrator, and it was because comic books were around, but none of these heroes were real. Like all the heroes that it happened to in real life had died from this. Like none of them actually became a superhero. All of them got super fucked up. Damn, son. Yeah, dude. Like, like, Damn. and it was a Marvel show. Could you imagine if that was a DC one? 
Like, what happened to the Joker when he fell into a bad acid? What happened to an actual little kid when he went to the Assassin's League and died? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, shit. Like, stuff like that. Like, what would happen to a kid where his parents got shot on the street and the guy left and left him survive by himself? Like, yeah, he's a rich kid, and obviously his butler came and picked him up, but, like... He'd be all fucked up. They're in now. Gotham. Yeah, they're in... Like, he'd be, like, on a Even if he did become a superhero, he'd get his ass whooped. Yeah. Batman would be making mess somewhere. Yeah. But that's what I'm excited about with the Disney. The Disney streaming service is only like seven bucks a month. And that's there's not cheap. much about the What If series out, but there's like a lot of comic books. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like there's a crap I think, ton. I think it's actually better that it's an animated show. So do I. Because it's, it's damn near guaranteed to be good. At least most of them. Yeah. Because they, they have the budget of... They have an unlimited budget, essentially... Not only because it's Disney, but because animation, you could do fucking anything. You could do anything. An unlimited budget that is extremely small. Yeah. So the sky is the limit there. And they have already, I mean, Disney's been animating for 100 years. Yeah. I mean, so they have the best, best animators. Marvel's been animating. So they have literally a team. There's nothing. The only thing they could do wrong is literally like if they just shit on it. Like if they literally were, if they just got care. lazy with it and didn't actually put any or effort turned into it, like it. it was all just a bunch of social justice, or it was a bunch of social justice shit. Yeah, what I'm thinking is it'll be like because there's a bunch of stories like what if Deadpool killed the Marvel universe? Oh, like accidentally I've, killed the Marvel universe? Yeah, I've actually read that. Yeah, there's there's all kinds of crazy ones like that, and like they don't always like they used to all say what if. There's, it's Originally, Deadpool like it uses, now it's just like comics, like it's a what if storyline, but it doesn't actually say what if on it anymore. And there's like there's another one where Deadpool kills a bunch of different people in time. Like he kills Abraham Lincoln. Okay. He kills, he, th- he kills. I think he kills fucking. I haven't read this one, but he kills. Yeah, it's called Illustrated. Deadpool Illustrated. He kills Moby Dick the whale. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's hilarious. He kills a bunch of motherfuckers. That's but, great. That's a good ass story. But maybe uh, because I've seen a couple Marvel animated movies. They're not bad. Like I saw the the Iron Man, the Invincible Iron Man one. That was all right. Okay. And uh. I think the Mandarin was the bad guy in that one, and that's what I liked about it. If I don't know if I've seen that of. one. But uh, I bought it at the Goodwill for like four bucks. Okay. But my point plug, is... Plug plus for the Goodwill. Ding! Um, but some of them, most of them are geared towards kids. Yes. DC, See, that's the issue. DC has had Marvel beat for years, for a decade oh, dude. now, when it comes to animated movies. I love DC animated movies. DC like, for animated the longest movies time, I hated Marvel live action Some of movies. them... For a while there, every single one of them they put out was great. Like, great. Yeah. Um, but, like, after a while, like, just like everything. They're not all going to be great. Some of them weren't so good. Yeah. But And we're talking DC. But there's, they're still consistently consistently good. Like, every, every couple of them, they're like, that one wasn't that great. But, yeah. Yeah, see, DC, like... With I love Flashpoint Paradox was good. Dude, that's, my, that's probably my favorite one. Um, and I would love for Flashpoint Paradox to become an actual movie. Like, I thought that's what they were going to do with Ben Affleck when he was, when they teased it in the uh, Justice League movie. I think that's where they were going with it, but they ended up And then not. he just stopped. Well, then I they, heard it's impossible to work for Warner Brothers. Then they did the a issue. version of it on the Flash TV show. Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh, nice. Now, I, I don't know if Flash is ending, but I know Arrow's ending, and I think they're turning John Diggle into Green Lantern, which is something into that the movie? everybody knows like they're gonna turn on the in, show. Oh, they're going to turn him into Green Lantern on like, the show? Uh, I haven't watched the last season. I Arrow was great. The second season of Arrow is yeah. some of the best television. And that's Stephen Amell? In the last 10, 10 years. Yeah, Stephen okay. Amell. Stephen Amell. But uh, the second season was gr- fucking so good. Um, but then, like, after, like, season three, like, it got kind of shitty. See, I never watched it. But then it kind of picked up there, like, two seasons ago, and then I didn't watch the last season. I guess this new one's the last one. Okay. But at one point, I guess somebody looks at Diggle in one of the previous seasons, like, one of the later previous seasons, yeah. and and asks him where his ring is or something. And he's just like, what are you talking about? And this is a guy from the future or something. Okay. Actually, I think it's the Flash from the future. Oh, the anyway. older Flash from the older Flash. Yeah, who was okay, actually the guy who played Flash in the like nineteen? Because they had like three Flashes show. on that episode, didn't they? Or was Reverse Flash, and then it was the older Flash, and then it was the regular Flash, or something like that. I didn't watch there the was, episode, but I seen the yeah. The actually, story I think that's what it. exactly was. Reverse Flash. I like Reverse Flash. A lot. Reverse Flash is a really cool concept. But um, 
I think in in this new season they're finally gonna make John Diggle a Green Lantern, and it's gonna be Green Arrow, Green Lantern, which is like so I might I might catch up and watch the last season of Arrow. Okay. Because Arrow used to be like one in my top three favorite shows in the first, uh, the second season I could not fucking wait to see the next episode of Arrow. It was so good. Okay. Deathstroke is one of my favorite DC. Villains, I like Deathstroke, and he was the main villain of the first two. Oh, seasons. that's sweet. And so dude, he was just and the guy the they got time. to play Deathstroke. Fucking perfect. Okay. Australian dude. He was. I can't tell you his name. I've seen him in a couple other things since then. But goddamn, dude, he nailed it. Nailed it. And see, I wish they would build movies more like that. Like, I get it. Like, we're building up to the Infinity War, and we got all these Avenger movies and shit. But how sweet would it be to like build through a Deathstroke like series of like ten movies or something, and then the end is the final battle against Deathstroke, and maybe he kills fucking dude. He they kills were... somebody in the Justice League. He kills Batman or something, and like he kills him at the same time, and it's like a real big fucking crazy death scene, like or they... something cool like how Infinity War was, where it ended with the snap, and then they went. I didn't see Endgame yet, but like they go through, and obviously the good guys fucking win. And you, but you don't have to have that all the time to where the good guys win. You could have like a ten movie series to where fucking Deathstroke wins at the end. Yeah, you, you could do whatever. Well, but I, just more a serious like, just a ser- more serious character, I guess. Like it just, it just feels like attempted to do that. They were planned on doing that for a while with the DCU or whatever. Yeah, uh, when Ben Affleck was. Uh, so they were going to build Batman. Were they going to build up Darkseid? They again? actually released footage. They were going to build Darkseid, I guess, was supposed to be in Justice League, and they cut a bunch. They cut like everything that had to do with Darkseid out of Justice League. Is that what they're talking about, the Zack For Snyder cut? For some reason. Maybe. Because everybody's saying the Zack Snyder cut's coming but out. Darkseid was a much larger part of Justice League, I guess, okay. to begin with. And that shit got all fucked up. Because they just made, in the movie, they just made Darkseid Superman, didn't they? For like two seconds, and he threw him in the sun, and that was the whole part of his uh, character. Yes, that sounds right. I can't remember at this moment. I can't remember exactly how it was, but it was basically the Superman fight was the only time really Darkseid was there. And everything was all based around Lex Luthor and Zod and all that stuff. Yeah. I can't remember what the fuck I was going to say, though. Why I started talking before we started talking about Darkseid. We were talking about... um, we were talking about the ten- you were saying that uh, DC was originally going to do that with the DCU. Yeah, yeah with uh, Dark or um, Deathstroke. I mean, Deathstroke. Deathstroke yeah. Stroke. And then we got Ben Underdark, Affleck. So. I think it might have been when Ben Affleck was attached to write and direct the Batman or whatever. But it might have been footage for Justice League, but it never made it. I don't know. They cast Joe Manganiello or whatever you know who he is. No, but if, I'm sure if I've seen him, he was on True Blood. Did you watch True Blood? He played the one werewolf. No, dude. Right. Was he a werewolf? Yeah. I can't remember. I thought True Blood was about vampires. Big fucking guy. I he's, guess there is werewolves He's in the new... Shows. He's in Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. Did you see the trailer for that? Yeah, I seen the trailer for Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. He's the the bailiff when they're like... Uh, when they're talking about Jay and Silent Bob's... Well, what they lay, lead you to believe is. And then Craig Robertson's the judge and he's like, I'll allow it. That movie did suck ass and lick balls or something like that. Okay, but I don't remember... Bailiff, see, I know okay. who you're talking about, yeah. Anyway, Joe Manganiello was... The guy from True Blood was cast to play Deathstroke. Okay. And they showed Damn. footage of Deathstroke in his costume, walking out of like a plane or something, all suited up with a gun. Ben Affleck like posted it on his Instagram yeah. or something. And it looked fucking awesome. It was so psyched, but then you never saw anything happen with it. So I know that they did plan on having Deathstroke as a villain and building Damn. him around being like the big bad See, of the Batman universe. Look. I got I got your next 20 fucking DC movies right here, right? I bet you do. Sir. Okay. You start with the Batman, okay? Fuck it. We make three or four Batman movies Fuck again, it. God damn it. We'll do it live. Because the Batman ha- the Batman's changed more than the Browns quarterback, all right? So now we finally ha- say Robin Pattinson is the best Batman ever. I haven't I don't seen any other movies. Bad Batman, honestly. Say he's the best Batman ever and they they give him a 10-year contract and he sticks with it and he makes all the Batman movies, okay? Now we got we got those out of the way. We got the Batman movies out of the way. Jason Momoa is fucking Aquaman. We got I the like Aquaman, Aquaman movies too. out of the way. We got the Wonder Woman movies out of the way. So we did all this shit. We don't have to necessarily do it like Marvel. We don't have to make like four movies leading up to this big dumb battle. But how badass would it be if they did it like how the Justice League show was to where like each movie's leading up into more and more. And then the Teen Titans come and then the fucking... Um, the uh, who was the other team that the uh, Superboy and shit when it was Superboy Prime? So and- ba- okay, what you're describing is the way Marvel did it. 
kind of the way Marvel did it, but it wouldn't end. They made a Batman movie, then they made an Aquaman movie. Well, That's no, but we would we could do. do it. We could do it to where all, <laughs> all of them are in the it. movies together, every single movie, if we wanted to. You could do basically like justice, like ten Justice League movies, basically. Like you're already at that end game point. You don't have to make separate movies. I'm just saying, so lead it saying, in to where say, like end it, it with like lead it in, lead it into with the Justice League. Then the Teen Titans come in for like three or four movies, and then you end that motherfucker with Batman Beyond, and you got a whole fucking uh, DC universe right there for the next 20 years. So you're just saying put out a movie, put out a movie, put out a movie and just have that movie lead to the next movie, lead to the next movie and just introduce characters with each movie. Yeah, kind of like I mean? how, sh- like maybe how the started TV out show like, was. Since we have Batman, Wonder Woman and Aquaman yeah, we already have all their origin Kinda. stories. We already have all their movies, and like maybe it's a standalone Aquaman movie to where we do focus more on Aquaman's part. No, but that would have been a smarter have to route. Lead out, we don't have to leave out the rest of the Justice League, and they, it doesn't have to be a standalone Batman movie. They don't have to leave out Superman. Like Superman doesn't have to show up. They don't have to emphasize that it's the Justice League. But like Batman could look out the fucking thing and see that maybe the Justice League tower got destroyed, and it's right. still destroyed in his new Batman movie. Because honestly, with DC, there's been. There haven't, there wasn't a lot of Marvel movies before the MCU, but DC's been making movies for a while, for like a whole decade. And that's what I'm that. saying. That's the issue. It's like we keep. That's why people are bored with it because we keep getting the same. All right, we're gonna make five Batman movies, and then yeah, he, but, we're gonna make Justice League, and then it's over. But my point is, is Marvel kind of needed to do it the way they they did. did. They I because agree with a that. lot of those characters weren't known in the mainstream at all. But yeah. like Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, they kind of were. So like, and that's why we don't need to see Batman's parents exactly. die again. We need to, we kind of, we need a refresher on Wonder Woman. We definitely need to know right. o- more about Aquaman. So build those three up, you know what I mean, and then bring them together maybe in like a second or but third like, film, and then like bring the other characters in later. Don't give them their own separate movies, but like make. You know, just don't. The third movie with Batman, Superman, Aquaman, Woman, and I guess what I'm Aquaman, saying is they don't Wonder Woman have... and Aquaman, and then make like the Flash like a a character they introduce in the third movie, or maybe it revolves around him. Yeah, what I'm saying, I guess, is just don't not acknowledge them in your movie. Like Batman, Superman doesn't exist in that universe just because it's mainly focused on Batman. Let me see a newspaper article what it says in Metropolis today fucking Superman stopped. It doesn't he doesn't have to come into the movie, but like don't ignore it's like WB ignoring every other wrestling organization. But like, they didn't do that either. They did like you watch Man of Steel, there is references to all kinds of motherfucker. Like you see Wayne well, I guess, Enter- Wayne, okay, Wayne well they do that, but I'm guessing I just want satellites and shit. I just want it to be a better built up story. Like you can build the the DCU by basing it off no. just all the different series of the animated series where they had the Teen Titans, they had the Justice League and they had Batman Beyond. You just combine that all into a movie series and you make it and you end it with like five Batman Beyond movies and people are five fi- Batman <laughs> Beyond movies. Five Batman Beyond movies. What I they just you would only need one Batman Beyond movie, honestly. What they need is they need one great franchise that they can build off of. Yes. And they're probably their best bet right now would either be Wonder Woman or like, or if they if they nail this new Batman. Because I don't think Aquaman's strong a strong enough story for them to to build a uh, a franchise on and then build an entire universe around. What they need is one main character, kind of like they did with Iron Man, to introduce everybody else into that story and build a universe around that. I agree with that. But they but need, we don't necessarily they need just to need do a copy it. and paste of Marvel Avengers. No, no, they need to the do Justice it. League. They need to do it in a completely different world, completely yeah. different tone. And they that's can what I'm do, saying. Like they can do okay, dark so and they, gritty so they and still be the, funny the and fun. Were there, but they didn't acknowledge. I'll say they never acknowledged more than one or two villains. The villains are always the main villains of the movie. Well, like another, what the fuck are the rest another of the villains thing that doing? hurts like, are shitty villains. They yeah, don't they don't write very like, good villains. Like the, the Joker's the best they got right now. Yeah, I think them overlooking Deathstroke is a huge flaw. That's in what I'm DC's saying. There's game. been better villains. There We've seen the same ten villains all the time. A million times better villains than what they are using. Yes. Dark Side's a great villain. They just never got there. They just never yeah. bit the fucking bullet and just put them in. And which is probably Brainiac. good because they didn't ruin them. Brainiac, Brainiac would, be, would be fantastic. All kinds of DC, Zod, Zod DC, would be good. In my opinion, DC um, has more to work with. Bizarro would than be Marvel fantastic. Has. Lobo would be good, dude. 
I, and those are just Superman. I mean, what I'm saying Batman is, already has a clutch because of who he is. Hush they have would be it. good. They have it. They're just not letting people who know what they're doing take charge. They don't have a Kevin Feige. They don't have a Kevin Feige. They had Jeff Johns, but maybe they're just like, you know, tightening right. the range. But the range are too tight on these motherfuckers or something. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know, dude. I mean, but they imagine, have it and they can do it. Like, I, like the Birds of Prey movie's coming out. Like, I guess the standalones will be fine. It'll be like its own thing. But I just want more of like, I'm tired of this like three, four part series. Like, I want it to be like, the comics are in the 800s, 900s of the same series. Like, I want the next movie to come out to be the movie based off the last movie that just came out. Like, like I want to fucking just keep going with it. Like I'm, I'm done with the the. We're done with the Justice League story now. Now I want to see what the Teen Titans are doing. Why the Justice League's kind of sitting back, letting the new kids come in, because everybody's getting old as fuck. And like, utilize that story. And if you're not going to utilize that story, go with a better like. Don't break it up to where I don't need four movies. Like okay. I don't need four Batman movies in a Justice League movie or like. Like like Green Lantern, like how they're talking about the Green Lantern Corps, where it's huge. It's like a bunch of shit going on. There's more than just one little what character. If, like what if, like how Doctor Strange movie was. It was all over the place. Okay, Marvel does it in a way in which they they tell basically one long story yes. with a bunch of small stories over time. Yeah, and they call they're that doing a phase. it in phases and stuff. Yeah, and that's usually a phase of like what one, two, three, four. Like, three to four movies culminating with an Avengers movie. Yeah, it's like, because it'll be Iron Man, Captain Marvel. This De- one was Iron Man, Captain Marvel, Ant-Man, Depending and on how many, something else. what phase it was. Because in the beginning, it was like three main characters, yeah. and then a movie, and then it was like, they introduced... And like, that uh, stuff is cool. Somebody else, I don't know. But anyway, they had their method of doing yeah, it. Yeah, Maybe Warner Brothers, since they're kind of, well, I don't know, Disney's been around a long time, too. Maybe Warner Brothers should take a more old-school approach and just go back to the trilogy method. Where we had, they tell one arcing story with three movies in a trilogy. Okay. And then they'll move on to another trilogy. That would be cool. And move on to another trilogy. And maybe, who knows, maybe if there's different characters in one trilogy and different characters in this trilogy, maybe the third trilogy, it'll be a crossover trilogy. Like they just need a I guess, different. I guess a different if, if we don't do the strategy. same, like as Marvel, I'm tired. I guess I'm just tired of seeing, like, if I'm going to see Batman now with Robin Pattinson and we're going to do three of these Batman movies, I want to see Robin Pattinson old as dick in the last one. No, no. I want to see him what old I mean. Batman in the last like, one. I don't need Batman beyond Toby McGinnis old look Batman. Look at it this way. Okay. We do a Batman trilogy that features Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and maybe we'll even throw uh, Superman in there. Yeah, because he's a little you know bit more I mean? experienced. He's met these people already. Yeah. And that's over the span of three movies. So you have three movies. Which one, could be two, ten and three, years because it's three To three introduce movies. these characters, flesh them out get to know them so we give a fuck about yeah exactly all right and then next trilogy maybe maybe okay for instance let's just say the people that are already playing batman superman and wonder woman are the same people yeah so maybe in the second trilogy the best way i could put it the second set of three uh henry cavill wants to go make the kingsman or something and gal gadot wants to fucking make some other franchise or something, uh, but Robert Pattinson, you know, kind of doesn't really have much going on. Yeah, I so think I'll keep playing they're, Batman. They're up. This one revolves around Batman um, forming the Justice League and finding the Flash, and you introduce like two other characters, three other characters in this trilogy, and then third trilogy consists of all of those tri- like that. That's your Avengers trilogy, your Justice League trilogy, right there. You See, know that would I mean? be sweet. Like what I'm saying is, you could do something. Like Mar, you can take that Marvel formula, but make it your own, or or maybe just look at that Marvel formula and be like, I see what they did there. Let's see if we could do something similar, or see if we could figure out our own formula, Either and that, then do that, or just do other stories. Like if you're only gonna make a set of three, do the the Owls story, do the story where you first got Grayson, and do the story where Joker killed and made Red Hood, where he killed fucking. Um, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe, Jason Todd, and Jason Todd came do, back from the grave. Th- maybe it doesn't have to be a trilogy. Just do three sets of movies that these are great stories, and we want to make sure that we incorporate these characters and and set up stuff for this. Yep. But in subtle ways so that the things that happen in this one can maybe be reminiscent of this one or can hark back 
to that one and vice versa so that like or it when can they all do culminate. like but they're all like the standalone movies like a batman movie I guess you're going back to the fucking but like imagine like they t- way imagine if they again, take man. all the movies they have now and they do what they did in the comics and they were like all right this is called rebirth all that shit happened but now this is the new characters and they're getting affected by all this shit happening and then they're like fuck rebirth story didn't ha- like the people didn't like that but they learned from that in the comics so they can almost make that as a movie just to explain all the other movies that why there's so many different Batmans and three Jokers and five different why Heath Ledger's dead but they can make another Joker movie and just start everybody's origin stories told and now you're starting here Batman's fucking 46 now not 10 alright Green Lantern's just a kid he just got his ring for the first time that's cool that's fine yeah. Wonder Woman's got f- five movies out Let's, Wonder Woman's already fucking old uh, she's been fucking Superman this whole time Dude, we've like got just advance so- it a little bit We've got so many different ideas going now that I'm they're all kind of just blurring together for me <laughs> at this point. Like I'm trying to I'm trying to Like I'm just thinking of you already have yeah. like you already have a world built. Capitalize on what you already have and like I'm fine with an origin story that's cool. Like the origin story they told in the newer Batman movies were cool how they told it cuz they already skipped past a lot of shit. Yeah. But like all right, I dig it. Now let's go on like what happened maybe maybe Dark Side destroyed planet Earth already and now we're on to future Batman we're on 2099 Batman now or something like that or like maybe maybe because DC wants to do standalone movies maybe they should do that what if type series to where they could do that what if there was three different Jokers well use the movies they already have to explain all three of their origin stories and just bring them motherfuckers in I think I think this Joker movie with Joaquin Phoenix uh it's kind of that like it's it's kind of DC's what if Joker like what if this is how the Joker was made what if that's society? Because society the made him. It wasn't like he fell in a bad acid. This was like like society beat him down to the point to where now he's rebelling. I don't know if acid is involved. Maybe maybe they use. Well, it. in the comics, I'm saying when uh, Joker fell in, he fell into. No, like, I know that. Oh, you're saying in that movie? Oh, I'm I have saying no in this idea movie, I don't know if acid is involved. Oh yeah, I have or no maybe idea they either. maybe actually I wouldn't be surprised. Like psychedelics acid. If they turn it into some sort of psychedelic thing, like, like he's, acid um, turned him into. What was the that Joker? movie where Rob, uh, Robert De Niro started going insane? Was it Taxi Driver? Where the entire movie he started going insane and then he started murdering people. It could be. Like I'm wondering Honestly, if it's like I've that. never seen Taxi Driver. You've never seen Taxi Driver? It could it could be Taxi Driver, could be the Deer Hunter, could be I don't know. I've never seen either one of them. But I, I've never a seen bunch Deer of, Hunter. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start watching old Robert De Niro movies. You should watch a bunch every single Robert Raging De Niro Bull. movie. You know what's really good is that um what is it um the one with him and John Travolta where John Travolta is hunting him. And like they set it up to where they're like two Russian friends at first. I think it's it's not called From Russia with Love, but they're like set like John Travolta's a Russian and uh, Robert De Niro's an old retired uh, war vet. And Robert De Niro like they meet up like they're friends. This and then he was familiar. like he was like he says something. He's like, "Are you ready?" or something. And then the hunt starts. And Robert De Niro's getting hunted the whole movie. Is it called the Hunt? I don't think it's called the there, Hunt. It might be called the Hunt. hunt. It might be because Robert- I'll look it up. Um, because that sounds vague. Yeah, familiar. what's his name? Uh, John Travolta's got the Russian accent, and Robert De Niro is just a guy. Oh God, I and can't he's imagine hunting, a John he's Travolta hunting, Russian. He's hunting accent. him through his woods area at this cabin that he has. Like he was waiting for him to get there, and then he gets there, and then like it's got a it's got a fucked up ending. Like the way the way Don't De Niro capital. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna spoil it at all. But the way it ends is like it's not a twist ending, but it's a really good movie. Like it's a really well. It's kind of like Arnold fighting the Predator. Like that's the kind of the cut because like De Niro gets hurt at one point. And now it's like oh shit, how am I gonna survive against this guy? Dude, I and, like, think I've seen this movie. You might have. It came out in like the '90s or the 2000s because De Niro was already a little bit older at this point. If if it might be a different movie I'm thinking about that's kind of similar, but I think I might have seen this movie, dude. I think you might have. <laughs> Do you? You might have. I think I think I've watched it with I th- you. I think you might have. Saw I think this you movie. might have seen this. Uh, why were what were we talking about before we got on that? We brought up Robert De Niro. We were talking about we were talking about the, the DC Joker uh, movie. We were talking about the I Joker talking movie. About maybe we were talking about, we were comparing what, it. Yeah, we were comparing it to um, Joker, suspense but thrillers in in a psychedelic way instead of falling into a bad of acid. Yeah, that'd be interesting. That would be very because interesting. I don't know if you've heard, but the Todd Phillips, the guy who directed it, said that. They're not. They're not basing it anything off the comics, yep. and it, it's kind of what they kind of made a movie thinking like this is where we think a guy like the Joker would care. What's from. cool or just like, is they're not basing it off the is. comics, but they're using those characters' names. Like it's Bullock, 
and Gordon is chasing after him in the trailer, and it's the Joker. Like Arthur, they're just, Arthur something is his name. But yeah, like, like they're actually using names. That is based from Coven, and like him being a comedian or something. Yeah, there, there are like, there are like well, pseudo origin well, it's stories. It's different for the though. Joker. It's like you're basing them names, but you're not basing the story. So you can create. It's like I'm gonna use Superman, but I'm gonna create my own Superman story. Yeah, like what that's what's cool about it is because you're gonna recognize a lot of the names. But it's going to be like, that guy never did that. But that's badass that he did do that. Unlike, unlike, like, maybe Bullock's not a piece of shit. Maybe this is before Bullock became a fat, like, crime. Or maybe this is part of that. Maybe maybe when they're chasing the Joker down, they go yeah, beat his like, ass. And then Joker, like, Thomas, says something. Thomas Wayne is in it. Yeah, like, Tom, Thomas is Wayne Thomas is Wayne in it? Yeah. Like, oh, I didn't know that. Something. Thomas Wayne, I guess, is, like, a kind of a main character. Oh, or okay. A, a supporting okay. character. Oh, shit. The more you know. That's where you insert that rainbow. And it says the more you know. And I think a young Bruce Wayne. You can see lists of the cast on IMDb. So, um, oh, okay. You could probably just by the name of the characters that they play, you could probably figure out who's in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I mean, but these are probably all like most of them probably aren't officially announced. It's probably just speculation or somebody heard it. It's hearsay, so you don't actually know. That's very possible. Okay. But that shit's it's not too far away. I think it comes out like the end of this year, doesn't it? Like December. I'm not sure what the actual release date is. Maybe it's just seen like little clips, little snippets here. Almost 2020. It is. Barbara Walters should uh, like celebrate because she had a show called 2020 for many years. You don't remember 2020? Oh yeah, I do remember 2020. Where? Yeah, I do remember Barbara Walters. Um, 2020. And then uh, the what was his name? Uh, Something Hughes. Donahue. Donahue. Phil Donahue. Yeah, Phil Donahue. Was that? I might be thinking of somebody else. I don't know. I remember the name Philip Donahue, though. There was a guy that hosted it with him, and he seemed like a totally like sweet old man. But he retired like way before Barbara Walter did. Maybe. I don't remember. I can't remember. That was old. Nobody You're old. cares. I am old, apparently. You old motherfucker. Like, um, today at work, fucking, I was icing, and I think it was Cody was like pushing stacks or something down the the line and he said something to Thomas because Thomas was icing too and he was just like I see you Thomas <laughs> and I was waiting for it and he didn't say anything yeah. and what do you what do you think he would say right after I see you Thomas I all right maybe, maybe I'm wrong then because Shankle didn't like laugh too hard either when I said this so maybe Shanko was like, I don't agree with you, but he just okay. like he humored me. But I was like, wow, that's how you can tell you're not a kid that grew up in the 90s. And he says, what? I was like, you hear the words, I see you anything. Like, it doesn't have to be, I see you, baby. <laughs> it it could be like, I see you, Thomas. Like, okay, and see, you not, don't immediately go, that. Okay. shaking that thing right after. Okay, I, I know, because we used to say that all the time. We used to be like, I see you over there shaking that ass. Well, there was that shaking song or whatever, ass. and it was in like every fucking commercial. But it was like, I see you, baby. Shaking that ass. Shaking that thing. I forgot all about that. Shaking I, that thing. I, I guess, I guess, yeah. I don't know. I guess I maybe was lost. Maybe I'm too high. Or maybe I'm just a huge fucking dork. That's very possible. But, yeah. It's very possible you're a huge fucking dork. Dude, we're barely over an hour. I feel like we've been going for like two hours. Dude, I do feel like we've been going for two hours. And it's probably the, the hunger at this point for me. An hour and seven minutes, dude. That's crazy. Um, Shit. Anything else you want to get in there before we call I don't, it? I out? don't know. No. no. There's no, really, not really nothing... I mean, it's not. I mean, I feel like we've. I feel like we filled that hour with some pretty good juicy shit. Yeah, I can't even remember. And then what if, we you, started if you want to use that, that uh, if you ever post those secret videos that we made together, <laughs> secret videos, the secret videos we made. We didn't. It gives you a little incentive if you ever post those three secret videos we made. I think the videos you started to refer to until you turned it into something weird and gay was uh, <laughs> reaction videos. We we tr- we attempted to try to do some reaction videos, and who knows. Maybe I'm just overly critical, and they turned out all right. They might have. But I mean, once you get as into of the right now, I stuff, feel like they were total disasters. You think so? I, I know th- the other the two. The first were. one might be. okay. I feel like the first one was okay. But the second ones, we didn't really have but a plan, I don't know, and we just there saw was like, random things. Because like, like, maybe like, this the one that was short, I feel like we we added a little bit to that. You might find some humor in there. You never know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't either. I'm a wizard. I might be able to work. You some might magic. be able to make some magic. So if you see those people. I did it. You did it. <laughs> if you don't, who cares? You didn't yeah, see right. it. <laughs> but uh, I guess that was episode 
13. 13, thank you. Of a bunch of Podheads podcasts. On, As always. Oddly enough, episode 13 of Bunch of Podheads has now just come out, which is probably the next episode of anything Mad Archer Media has done. Uh, and then the last episode that was put out by Mad Archer Media, not on Mad Archer Media, the website, which I guess I should rep the other ones too. Yeah. Well, but uh, was episode 31 of Jam Up. Oh, so okay. 3113. 3113. That's kind of a cool Coheed thing. 3113. Co- 2113 is a Coheed 21. thing. 21. I got nothing. Yeah, that's fine with me. You don't have to have anything. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm Mark, and this is Jesse, and that was the Bunch of Potheads podcast. Number 13. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, mm-hmm. as always. And check out Jam Up in Ohio WrestleCast on Facebook and YouTube. Both of the best podcasts Those on the internet right podcasts. now. They actually get fucking a decent amount of views on them. One features a professional wrestler by the name of Wilbur Whitlock. A.K.A. Jared Griffiths. I liked his uh, video that he put together with all the uh, retirees where they had like that whole pa- uh, panel. Yeah, we did, did that. I yeah, filmed all that shit. And, yeah, and that we was really there. good. Yeah, with Demolition. Yeah, dude. I, Man, I grew up watching Bolton. those people at like high school events and shit, like Demolition and stuff. So like, it was Sandy, really cool seeing Toby all them. Demolition were, were, I think it was two or three time tag t- WWF tag oh, team yeah? champion. Were they? So I didn't know all that. Sawyer Fulton was, in, was one of the original members of Insanity. He okay. got hurt. And uh, they released him. Yeah. And then Killian Dane filled in for him. He Killian Dane was the new Sawyer. Killian player. Dane's a beast. And then uh, Bob Roop was an Olympian. Wow. Fucking, uh, yeah, won gold medals and shit. Damn. He he was like the original Kurt Angle, essentially. Okay. Um, he even talked about trying to form a wrestler's union in that Q&A, which I thought was cool. Yeah. Um, Isn't that what AEW's trying to do? One man gang. <laughs> Maybe. One man gang. I grew up with that. And then, uh, and Something Mr. Like Insanity you know? Toby Klein, who was look up some of his matches on YouTube. Just Toby type Klein? in Mr. Insanity Toby Klein Mr. and uh, Insanity Toby Klein. Okay. Necro Butcher. Him and Necro Butcher had some fucking like nasty ass hardcore match. Like okay. like death matches, dude. Dude, that's sweet. Like they didn't die, but like. Well, yeah, but I know what you're talking now, about. In like, one clip, the Japanese death matches and shit, where they're hitting each other with barbed wire. Yeah, and, like, like barbed wires on the ropes tables and shit. And, and yeah, like at one ropes. point. In one of the videos, Toby Klein bounces off the ropes that I'm pretty sure are covered in barbed wire anyway, with a, a fucking straight up like old school like big ass VCR and Damn. just fucking like throws it and it lands and just fucking square on the top of the dude's necro butcher's head and just fucking just wow like had to have knocked him right the fuck out dude because those old VCRs are hard as yeah. fuck and he fucking just chucked it and it just landed. Square on his head, dude. Because Mick Foley and uh, Terry Funk did a death match, didn't they? Yeah, they did all kinds of shit. Dude, gnarly matches. Definitely check them out. For sure. But yeah, until next time. I'm Jeff Hughes, and this is Wilbur Weirdlock, and this was Jam Up. (laughs) I'm Jesse. I was trying to think of something. (laughs) This is a bunch of potheads, probably.